Hi guys, welcome back to, well, to my <laughs> multiplayer screen. The last time I started a video here, we, we had a little gift left for us, and I've had a little tip off that maybe when I log in, that there might be something similar left for me. So uh, I thought I would just record right from the get-go. Um, especially since it's been a couple of days, more than a couple of days since my last video. I've been super, super busy. <laughs> uh, things just kind of got away from me, but you know, we're back. We're ready to go. Maybe. I'm kind of scared. Let's, let's just, let's jump in. Oh. No, I, it's been so long since I've been on that I honestly forgot I was at my spawn house. And now look at that. Oh, there's also new, all like, new stuff. Interesting. There's Dick. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Very nice to see people around. We have Weasel Fan, who I haven't yet met. Joe the pirate. Oh, did he just give me a rose? <laughs> For the flower. Oh, that was very sweet. <laughs> Favorite flower ever now. <laughs> that was very awesome of him. Thank you. <laughs> but, you know, we have, we have stuff to take care of. I mean, it is being... Oh, I know. It's nice to see ya. <laughs> oh, people here are so awesome. But you know, I've been busy. I've been really busy in my real life. So I haven't had the chance to watch videos, to w play, to do much of anything. So I'm excited to kind of get back in the swing of things. So let's get us a cart and head back. Now I'm not really sure what to expect here. I've been told that maybe it's maybe something to do with my horses and my stable. I don't really know. <laughs> I hope it's nothing terrible. Though uh, I have to say there's not much that could be worse than having TNT flying around <laughs> and going off and making lots of noise. So I think I think I can handle whatever whatever these guys have thrown at me. I'm just kind of excited to get there and see see what's going on. So first let's Let's get this out of the way. I will have to keep this in a special spot. That was so, that was totally adorable. So nice of Jick. Let's make sure my hunger bar is full and let's, let's see. Kind of scared. Let's hop up here and check and see if, if something is amiss. Hmm. Where's Mr. McCracken? I think he's up there. Oh. Whoa. Can't type. Yeah, Weasel Fan, new new member of the server, I do believe, along with Jick and Joe and Midnight Designer. And of course, D, who uh, you guys all know. So, oh, <gasps> what happened? <gasps> oh, there's a button here. Oh my God, oh no, did they hop out? What happened? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, dear Vixie, your horses have been taken hostage. For now, their captors shall remain anonymous. Though if we show potential, we shall reveal our identity. This test shall contain three phases. One to test your fighting ability, one to test your bow accuracy, and the final one is a mental challenge. To start your quest to return your horses back to safety, 
Press the button to the left of your feet. Beware, once you enter, there is no return. If you do, we shall not disclose the location of your horses. You will need a bow, plenty of arrows, some good blah, 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 plenty of arrows, some good armor, and a decent weapon. You will find chests containing more books telling you what to do. Good luck and remember, we're watching you. So I'm successfully creeped out. Let's let's put this back. I see why now it hasn't been signed like this. So I don't know who did it. These aren't my horses. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We've got to we've got to go save them. We have to remedy. Hmm. Why is this here? This is not here. Interesting. But anyway, we yeah, we totally have to go save our horses. So let's see, I've got Oblivion. Oh, I have so much crap in my inventory. I think I was, uh... <laughs> I hadn't organized my inventory in a while the last time I logged off. So it's kind of a mess now. I guess that can go that. I need to keep this, this, this food. All right. So we need arrows, right? It said we needed arrows. I've got plenty of arrows. Let's take a backup sword. I guess that's okay. My bow is pretty good. I don't think I need an axe. I'll take this. Or maybe, maybe we'll do this. Take the diamond pick. And food. Let's make sure we have plenty of food because that's always important. Oh, you guys, I'm kind of nervous. What does that mean? Oh, my poor horsies. Poor Michael Buble and part, poor Conan. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't even have the the uh, armor on them. My goodness. <laughs> so let's see. Did I have any food anywhere? I could have sworn I had some potatoes cooking, but maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see. We'll take apples. That can go in there. And then there. And that. And that. Okay. Mr. McCracken, are you out here? Yeah, you are. My goodness. What happened? You were such a bad watch cat. Ugh. Oh. Well, I think, I think let's just go for it. I've got some decent armor. I've got some decent tools. I have some food. Let's just, let's just go for it. Let's push the button. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What the hell is this? I can't even get in there. Oh, I guess I gotta be quick. Oh my goodness. This is all underneath my house? Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's, let's, let's see. Book and Quill. Well done, you made it this far, but the fun has only just begun. This is your first test. This will test your fighting ability. Walk into the room ahead of you, and you'll be faced against some monsters. You must kill them all in order to find the lever, which will allow you to open the iron doors at the end of the room. Don't dig through, or don't dig out of the room or through the doors, otherwise we will not disclose the location of your horses. All right, scary, creepy overlord. I will not. And, oh, balls. I didn't want to step on that, but I guess I have to, huh? Oh boy, okay. Well, let's treat this like a like a super hostile map, right? Oh, oh my goodness. Uh <laughs> Kill all the zombies. Oh boy. Let's take a minute and eat. 
Do I have a moment to eat? No. Eh. Whoo. Okay. Let's eat, 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 eat. Back in the action. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna Oh, I'm gonna die. Now what happens if I die? Can I restart? <laughs> I certainly hope so. Look at all the gear they're dropping. Holy crap. Ah. No, 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 no. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Is that it? Oh, is that it? Let's actually, let's eat the steak. Oh god, my inventory. <laughs> my inventory is so full of stuff. Oh, nope, that's not it. Okay. I'm not going to be really cheap and block it off, but I am going to... Aw. I am going to stand up here and try to regain some health. At least a little bit. And of course you hit me anyway. <laughs> Look at all this loot. I kind of want to pick it up. Why let good loot go to waste, right? Maybe I can just dump some of it in here. <gasps> There's the lever! Sweet! Okay. We got the lever. We got the lever. Is there anything else? Oh, there's plenty of stuff. Okay. I don't have enough room. Hopefully I won't need much, much inventory space. And I guess, I mean, look at all this stuff. I guess I could keep some extra iron, iron stuff on me, right? Wow. Okay. Maybe these are ghosted. Okay. This is a very elaborate thing. My goodness. It looks pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That was a clever trap with the purple carpets. I'm assuming <laughs> those are my purple carpets. What's up here? Anything? No? Okay. Orbs! <laughs> Go away! Get out of my face! Alright, well, here's the doors. Let's go on through. Book and quill. Managed to kill all those zombies. Didn't think you could do it. Ah, oh, well. This is your second test. This will test your bow accuracy. Walk into the room ahead of you. You will notice there are ten redstone lanterns with wooden buttons on them. Your challenge is to shoot an arrow onto every button so that all the lanterns are on at the same time. When this happens, the iron doors at the end of the room shall open. Oh, and remember, it only takes one minute? I can't read what's there. For an arrow, uh, for an arrow to respawn, so be quick. Despawn, so be quick. So I only have a minute to essentially get through all of them. So let's let's take a look around real fast. Make sure I know how many we're working with. So elaborate. I have to say, whoever did this, you guys, this must have taken you forever. All right, well, let's give it a shot. Let's see, let's start with these two. Oh, did that work? Okay, so that worked, that worked. Yep, there's one down here. Got it. E, I'm nervous. Good. Now, is there one I'm missing, or does the door... Do I have to push the door? Oh, there's one here. Sweet! Okay. We're in the final area. Oh, I forgot to put the book back. Oh, well. Let's put this one here. <laughs> Last room, right? Oh, so apparently your bow skills aren't that bad. Good job. This is your third and final test. This is a mental test. Oh, you guys, you guys know I'm the queen of the derps. I don't know, this may be the hardest one. <laughs> we'll see. You will notice ahead of you that there are six doors. Each door has a sign with a number above it. 
Remember that the, those really easy multiple choice questions at school? Well, if you remember anything about maths, this will be easy. Your question is 5 times 5 minus 3 plus 2 times 6 divided by 3. Hint, bidmus. Okay. Now I'm not gonna lie. I hear... I hear footsteps. Are they... No? Okay. Now, <laughs> to be honest, math was never my strong point. Even on the SATs, I scored way higher on English than I did in math. Well, and on the reading, the reading part. So math is not, not my strong point. I'm kind of scared now. Oh, did I put the book back? I need the book. Yeah, I need the book for the math problem. Now I could guess, but there, there are chests in here. There, I don't want to. I don't even want to open the doors. But there are chests. I assume one of these chests has a book with coordinates or book with instructions. Okay, so let's let's look at the problem again. Oh, oh, I did I didn't even realize there was a third page. If you wish to select an answer, walk into the room with the corresponding number and close the door behind you. Then open the chest and you will find out soon enough whether or not you've answered the question correctly. Oh dear. Now, are these trap chests? They are. They are trap chests, right? Yeah. Hmm. So it's going to trigger something nasty, I'm assuming, if I pick incorrectly. Yeah, they all appear to be trap chests. Okay, well. Bidmus. Is that an acronym for... The way you are supposed to do problems like this? I think it is. Hmm. All right, guys. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to pause here for a minute. And I, because I honestly, I'm going to need some time to work this out because I know there's a specific order you're supposed to go in. And as I said, you know, English and reading comprehension and those, those kind of subjects are my strong point. Math definitely is not. So I will be right back. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I did a bit of Googling. I did a bit of Googling on the Bidmus. And yes, I was right. I suppose my... My schooling didn't fail me. <laughs> Bidmus is an acronym to help you remember uh, the order in which you're supposed to do problems like this, long problems. So I took this problem and I rewrote it back here. And according to the Bidmus rule, you're supposed to do things left to right and multiplication and division comes before addition and subtraction. So I added in brackets to help myself remember, well brackets, parentheses. Um, I believe Bidmus, the B stands for bracket. So these be brackets to differentiate the, er the problems that I need to do first. So, <laughs> math lessons with Vixie. <laughs> so we have 5 times 5, which is 25. And I just hit <laughs> the numlock button, <laughs> so <laughs> my recording stopped. But anyway, 5 times 5 is 25. Then we have 2 times 6, which is 12. Except you have to divide 12 by 3, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So you've got 25 plus 4 makes 29. And then you subtract the 3, which you've got right there in the middle, and that ends up being 26. 26 is my answer. So let's see. Is the, Oh, there's 26 right here. So do we just go for it? I don't want to die, but I think... I think we're just going to go for it. Wish me luck, you guys. 
I'm hoping I did. I did my maths right. Oh, sh shit. Okay. Okay. <gasps> okay. Okay, let's see. Ah, okay. Either you can do the simplest of maths or you just use trial and error. Whichever way you did it, congratulations. The piece of paper attached will lead you to the horses. We advise bringing leads for obvious reasons. Look to the end of the room and you will find an exit ladder. Sweet! Awesome. Ah, uh, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> oh, so we, we have the piece of paper. We're going to go get our horsies back. This was very, very clever. Whoever set this up, you are very clever. And I, I applaud you. Now, where are we here? Huh? Oh. Oh, is the server being laggy and weird? Methinks it is. <laughs> oh, I can't get out. Okay, um, one sec, guys. I will relog. Or I guess I could do it on camera. I'll just do it off camera. Logging in. Okay, there we go. Let's try this. Thank you, Joe. Oh, that worked. Very nice. And, oh, we're right here. My God. So this was right here. And all the way over here is where my house is. Look at that. Very clever. I have to give you credit, whoever mystery person you are. It's not like I can't... Uh, you know, do process of elimination <laughs> on who it is. Uh, let's see. There's only there's only so many people on the server. But we have well, we have a saddle and actually make sure nobody's around. No uh, monsters. I think. I can just do this, right? Yeah, and get a saddle back. Very nice. Very nice. Now I've got two saddles, one for each horse, so I don't have to worry about uh, switching them around. And we'll grab some leads. I'll go get some leads. Whoops. Kind of pumped. Let's see. Negative 2868. Let's see. Where is that? 2868 is this way. Hmm, over near Joe? That's interesting. Let's see, do I have any leads left? I have two. That's good enough. Let's take some fence posts. Let's dump all this stuff in here just for the time being. I don't need everything on me because I want to go save poor Michael Bublé and Conan. You know, they're, they're good. They're good horses. They don't deserve to be treated like that, to be taken, taken hostage. That's very cruel. I will have stern words for, oh, I put the paper back, but I will have stern words for whoever decided to take my sweet horsies. Mark my words. I will get you back. Granted, I can't... Can't do something super complicated like you did. But I will do... I will do something. So negative... <laughs> now that I'm... Now that I'm done... Uh, threatening. <laughs> threatening people. Let's see. Negative 2868 and 167. I do believe that's over this way. Indeed, indeed. Creeper, don't want any parts of you. No, no, no. No. So, 2, 8. Let's find the X coordinate first. And then we'll do the Y. 
So 2868. Here's Joe's Joe's Ice Farm. Hi, Skeleton. No, thank you. No, thanks. Oops, I'm going the wrong direction now. 28 is this way. All right. Suppose I was reading my coordinates wrong, but that's okay. What is that out there? Oh, dear. Excuse me. Is that where my horses are? Oh, my gosh. If it's not, what is that? Wow, look at that. It's very foreboding, isn't it? Conan, Michael Buble, can you hear me? Are you over here? Monsters, leave me alone. I have a very special mission. I'm on a very special mission. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I hear them. My boys, are you up there? Oh, they are. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey now. Oop, oop, whoop. Oh no. Oh, how am I supposed to get up there? I'd, oh, I didn't bring any blocks with me. Hmm, let's go get us some dirt. I guess we'll run over here to the coast and I'll grab some sand and some dirt and whatnot. Yes, zombies, run just right into the... Aw, for realsies. Come on, can't you guys see I have very important business to take care of? Look at all of them, good lord. Well, I suppose I better take care of this issue here. Before, oh, goodness. Perhaps in my haste to get my precious horsies back, I should have just, uh, should have just waited till morning. But, you know, this was an adventure, right? What's, what's some extra adventure to make things exciting <laughs> I guess who knows come on just die go away thank goodness my bow is pretty powerful right pretty much one-shotting most of these zombies let's make quick work of them now what time is it it's becoming morning. Good. Uh, so maybe, maybe I can hold out just until I can get, well, just until I can pretty much be safe over there. So at the moment, it's pretty unsafe. Look at all this XP though. Wow. Oh, look. Dawn is coming. Just hold on a second there, boys. I will be up to you in a moment, I promise. Oh, I hope they won't be, like, negatively traumatized or something, you know? Hopefully they don't... They don't hold it against me. I mean, I didn't... I didn't want to leave them. I just got busy, you know? I got busy in real life. That happens. Ah. Okay. Now, I guess the smart thing would be to, uh... Knock some of the fire out. I suppose I could tear this down as well. Oh, phew. Well, let's at least retrieve one of my beloved horsies. Oh, there's even lava under there? You got- oh, one has armor on him. I didn't put armor on, uh... Is that Michael Buble? Hi, guys! Oh, look at you! Oh, you both have saddles on as well. You poor things! You poor- oh, and they're named! 
<gasps> They're named. <laughs> Oh my god, they're named! <laughs> oh my god! That's 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 pretty amazing. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, I'm so amused. Oh my god. I kind of don't even want to get the person back who did this. I don't even want to prank you back, because it was mostly like a gift, like Look at that armor. Check that out. Gold horse armor. Not bad, right? <laughs> right, Michael? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, well. Now we have the arduous task of getting them out of here. I guess I could make a staircase. Let's see. I guess the staircase would be the easiest. You can, uh, kindly die in a fire, zombie. Thank you. Alright, so let's get some dirt. Massive amounts of dirt and grass. There we go. That should be good. Yeah, that's, that's plenty. And let's make a staircase. So we can get my boys, my boys out of captivity. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's seriously, I think that's probably the most creative thing. <laughs> it felt like I was playing a super hostile map. That's awesome. So let's go down and do that. Whoops, not there. Need to go here. And then I think I can reach it all from here. Just like so. Perfect. Oh man. All right. So let's do one at a time. And let's also eat. I suppose we'll take Michael Buble back first since he's got the sweet armor. For no other reason than, you know, I just kind of want to ride on Michael Buble for right now. Look at you. Oh my god, you're even named. That's, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> and we're free. Now, I don't want to let him go, but I do want to block this off up here. Just, uh... Just in case Conan is feeling feisty and decides he wants to try to get free himself. So now let's head back. I think if we go this way. And, oh, can we jump this? Can we jump it? Nope, we can't. Good enough. I believe this, this kind of general direction if I was any good at <laughs> steering a horse. Trees in the way, everything in the way. Eh. Eh. <laughs> seems, uh, seems horse riding is not my forte. Come on. What gives here? Is it seriously not wide enough for you to go through? No? There we go. And we're home! Yay! Alright! Well, Michael, you have to room with the hor- uh, without Conan for the moment, and you have to be with the pig. But I think you'll be fine. I think that's certainly better. Certainly better than where you were, my god. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go run back and grab Conan. I am definitely going to put his diamond armor on him. And I think I'm going to call it here. I think I'll probably go over there and, and try to at least take all the fire out so we're not burning the swamp down. But, you know, that was fun. And that was very awesome. The horse armor, the name tags, whoever did that. I kind of want to punch you and kiss you. 
all at the same time. <laughs> so I have been Vixie, and I thank you so very much for watching. I apologize profusely for my, my absence a little bit this week, but I'm back. No worries. And uh, I will talk to you all soon. Goodbye. Thank you.